If you'd like to level up your live stream quality from looking something like this, which is the M1's MacBook's internal webcam, the best Apple actually has to offer to date, to something that actually looks more like this, then you have to get yourself the Sony ZV-E10. In terms of image as well as sound quality, Sony has made the newest flagship alpha cameras into a powerhouse when it comes to ease of use for streaming. How you actually ask? Let's get this to work in a few easy steps. Step number one, position your camera at the exact point you'd like and make sure the image looks clean and professional. Step number two, open up the hatch at the side and find your USB-C port. Step number three, for longer streaming sessions, connect the camera to your power outlet with a dummy battery that can be purchased on Amazon for roughly $30. Step number four, open up the menu on the camera and go to menu two, page one and you USB streaming, then confirm with the press of the middle scroll wheel button. This sets the camera into streaming mode. Step number 5. Connect the USB-C cable with the camera as well as your computer, notebook or whatever you are using. Step number 6. Open up OBS, click on the plus symbol at the bottom, choose video capture device and give this one a name. Now under device select the Sony ZV-E10. Step number 7. If you also want to use some color grading with your footage, you can add a LUT on top of incoming footage. Right click on your camera, choose filters and under effect filters click on the plus symbol and choose apply LUT. I made a specific Sony ZV-E10 LUT that brings out the highlights as well as uh, ups the contrast a bit. It also gives a nice finish to it. If you are interested, I linked it in the description below. Step number 8. If you also want to use the audio coming from the camera, then click on the plus symbol and add an audio input capture. Name this a ZV-10 mic input, select the ZV-10 as your device and voila, this is now actually coming directly from the built-in microphones in the ZV-10. Not that bad, I guess. If you want to actually get better audio, you can always add an external microphone to the camera, just plug it into the mic jack on the camera and voila! So this is actually the sound now coming from the shotgun mic that is actually pointed towards my mouth that is out of frame so that it looks much cleaner but it sounds so much nicer than just the onboard sound. Awesome. This eliminates the so often present mics and game streaming setups and it looks way cleaner. So I hope this actually helped you in your quest to actually get a better streaming setup in the end. If so, come join this channel, like and click on the subscribe button. This actually helps very much. My name was Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. I have actually 34 more written down ideas that have to be fleshed out in the next couple of months. So if you're interested in actually watching some of them, feel free to come by again. So have a great day and until next time, goodbye.